Hello, my name is Tiana Kupisk. I'm an immigration attorney licensed in New York and California. I'd like to talk a little bit today about political asylum. First category is in the US already. Perhaps they arrived on student or tourist visa or some kind of work visa and they apply for asylum um, based on the, their location. They usually go first to interview. Uh, they wait for interview at asylum office, perhaps up to six months, usually a few months. It goes pretty fast now. Uh, they have this interview and within a few weeks or months, the asylum officer issues a decision whether you got status of SLE or not. If you got SLE status, you could um, bring here your spouse and your unmarried children um, under age 21 immediately. And you could file for green card um, after one year of being in the status of SLE. If you did not win, uh, if you did not get an approval after your asylum interview, you have a second chance. You could go to immigration court and tell your story to the judge and uh, the judge will issue a decision. Uh, timeline uh, depends on the judge's schedule. Some of them are very, very busy, so you have to wait for your um, individual hearing maybe two or three years. Um, if you won the immigration case hearing, then it's all good. You could qualify for a green card, you could bring your family here. Um, if you did not win it, you have usually 30 days to file an appeal, BIA, and after BIA, the next level of appeal is a federal court. Another category of people who seek asylum in the U.S. are uh, those people who are crossing the border with Mexico and the U.S. They ask for asylum um, at the border, usually it's CBP officers who have a credible fear interview with you. Um, they usually ask you questions, are you afraid to return to your home country, uh, what are you afraid of, it's called credible fear interview. Um, sometimes it's quite extensive interrogation, sometimes they're basically like a couple of questions asked. And then depending, um, it's in the discretion of CBP officer, you might go to the detention center or they will release you. If you ended up in detention center, perhaps um, you could be released on bond or on parole. So if you are um, in detention center or you're waiting for your uh, court hearing being released by CBP or ICE, you um, could also wait for your individual hearing for a while. It also depends on immigration judge's schedule. It's very, very important that um, you do not lie, uh, that your um, asylum case is uh, properly, you're properly prepared to um, seek asylum in the US, that you prepare your case, Usually you get your um, employment authorization card within one year after filing for asylum. If somehow, let's say your immigration court hearing is um, changed to a later date because you've asked for it, then uh, your employment authorization card could be delayed as well. It's very important to prepare your asylum case uh, carefully. If you have any evidence, it's great. If not, uh, we have to see uh, what your um, asylum case is based on, see reports from your country, etc. Please feel free to contact us, uh, schedule a consult, we'll be happy to help you.